Okay, it's Mr. Rops here, and on this example here, we're going to consider complex number z1, which is a half root 3 over 2i, and z2 is root 2 plus root 2i. And the i is on the outside of the thing, so maybe I should have put it here. I'm going to put them on the argand diagram, so I know this one here is going to go over a half and up will be about here. And z2, so this is z1. And z2 is go over root 2 and up root 2. And it's roughly going to be here. And that's going to be z2. And then I can calculate and draw. When I multiply these two together, I'm going to go a half plus root 3 over 2i, root 2 plus root 2i. When I put that into my GDC, and I can calculate it out, I end up with negative 0 0.518 plus 1.93i. And do you see two, so I go negative 5.1 and 1.93, somewhere up about here, z1 times z2. And so do you see two geometric interpretations? Probably not. So I want to take a moment and look at this graphically, what's going on here. So here is, I'm, uh, let me do convert first to z1 and z2. So if I'm going to convert z1 into polar form, I take 1 half squared plus root through, oh my goodness, plus root 3 over 2 squared. And I take the square root of that, and that ends up with 1. And if I do tangent theta is root 3 over 2 over 1 half, there's root 3. And so theta, and I'm going to do it, is going to be 60 degrees. And I just know these values. So I know that this is cis, 1 cis, 60 degrees. Similarly, if I take this particular scenario, and if I do z2, z2, I know I'm going to go root 2 squared plus root 2 squared square root. That ends up with 4. So r is 2. And if I also then do tangent theta is equal to positive root 2 over positive root 2, which is 1, theta then is 45 degrees. So z2 is 2 cis 45 degrees. So I'm going to go over to GeoGebra, and let's take a look at this scenario here. And so I've built z1, so I have f here, and I have done it so I can change it as, as needed. So if I go back, put it back to 60, okay. And then what I've also done is I've come along, and I've built the second value. Uh, I've also built g. I've called it g which is z2, okay? And I can also show the angle for that. And again, I can change it as needed. And then I'm going to multiply the two together. And if you look here, I've multiplied it f times g, and I get negative, I get this value here, which is the one, here's my segment as such. And what I want to look at is I want to look at the angle it makes. It makes 105. Now, when I consider that, if I think about that scenario, when I draw them and I put them here and here and here, it's easy to see here, the 45 and the 105 and the 105, well, you can clearly see that they added up. So if I change, even if I change this, and you take a look at, here's 90 plus 60 is 150. The, what I'm doing is I'm adding those values up. So the transformation is I take F and I rotate it by G, the angle it makes. I'm making a rotation. So I can make this whatever I want and it rotates it as such. So the one transformation is a rotation. So when it talks about rotations, it is a rotation. 
anti-clockwise by theta 2 because I'm going z1 times z2 and so the angle of theta 2 so in this case 45 is theta 2 so that's the one transformation that is going anti-clockwise is going this direction 45 the other thing that happens is now let's look at these two scenarios here I'm going to it's hard to tell with 1 and 2 but if I take P and I'm gonna make P go up to 3 so I can see this length is 6 and so if I come along here and if I change this to 4 it becomes 8 if I change this one to 3 it becomes 12 and so what happens is that these R values these lengths multiply so if I start off with the blue value of 1 and I multiply it by G then what happens is it multiplies an enlargement by whatever this value here is it enlarges by n and so the other transformation here is an enlargement in this case an enlargement it is going to be an enlargement by r2 not squared r2 by r2 which in this case is 2 because this is r2 and theta 2 so those are the two transformations that happen so I enlarge it by this R value and I rotate it by this particular angle when I start with Z1 and I multiply it by Z2. Okay, so um, if I look at G now, if I have X is a half comma root 3 over 2, this is so half and root 3 over 2. And A is a 2 by 2 matrix. Determine A if AX is this. Well, recognize that these values are here so I'm taking some matrix a times in it by one half root 3 over 2 and I have to get negative 0 0.518 and 1.93 well to make a if I think about my scenario I know I'm going to do an enlargement followed by a rotation now whether I make something bigger and then rotate it or rotate it and then make it enlarge it doesn't the order doesn't matter so a is I'm gonna do a rotation by 45 anti-clockwise and then I'm going to do an enlargement and so if I remember by 2 so if I remember my matrices I'm gonna have my rotation here is my rotation matrix minus sine 45 sine 45 cosine 45 which is in your formula booklet and the enlargement matrix looks like this times X and so if I multiply this out I get 2 cos 45 minus 2 sine 45 uh, 2 sine 45 and then 2 cosine 45 this here is matrix A if I put it in my calculator I can consider that and then finally if I want to think about dividing well if I'm going to divide that let's see if I change this to dividing G what happens now when I do dividing, if I now my length is one, and my angle for this one, my angle is where did it go? My angle is fourteen. So right now I subtract them. So if I take my angle of 60 and I make it bigger here's my angle 72 and I just subtract them so if I'm going to do division if I'm going to do division z1 divided by z2 well it's going to be in this case if I take z1 in polar form it's cis 60 over 2 cis 45 
my value is going to be one half cis 15. I go 60 minus 45 degrees gets me the 15 and then I divided it by these two values gives me my new R value. And so geometrically, the transformation, it's an enlargement by a factor of division like one half. And it is a clockwise rotation of 45 degrees. So geometrically, I can see that division is just going to do a rotation clockwise and a enlargement by this factor. And same with multiplication, they add the angles.